The Battle of Klendathu. A day that will live in infamy. But from tragedy springs hope as the Federation rebuilds its fleet bigger and stronger than before. To fuel this war machine, all eyes are now on Kualasha. Once an isolated outpost, this mineral-rich world has become a key part of humanity's battle for survival. Now it is. But the so, planet's should I restart? Hi! <laughs> After reports I don't care. Look, surface. we forgot to turn the mics and on, okay? Jeez, all right? We're just starting halfway through this. Everyone knows what Starship Troopers is. Yeah, so it's a... Waz is playing Starship Troopers. I'm playing it today, and it's my favorite movie series ever. It is one of the greatest sci-fi war movie series is, 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 is of all time. See? Bro? I knew we were all the way up there. We're on well, I didn't brutal. Know. I, I thought it would, like, fill in the stars, you know, like normal games do. Yeah. No. Oh, that's weird. Oh, well. To, to war! To war. Yeah, it's been a, it's, damn I, bugs. It's been, it's been a number of years since I've actually watched Starship McTrooper. I need to buy... Is there a box set? Dude, well, there is there a box be. set of so, fucking Starship At least Troopers? for the first three movies. I think the second two I can only find like online, and Starship one of them's on Netflix. Troopers. I think it's called the Traitor set. of Mars. Listen up, Lieutenant. Ooh, I'm a lieutenant. Man versus monster. <laughs> Isn't that is exactly what this why? is? Why it just gave me a Game of Thrones season one through eight box set, Saw, Galactic Front, whatever that is. That's Drop Trooper. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> that's off brand. Galactic Arena! Do you want to watch Frank Herbert's Dune? No. No, I want to fight. That's stupid. Right. How dare you? Do I not get those guys? Alright. Who are you? Is that Rico? No, Where's I Rico? wish I was Rico. Where's the girl that you see? Uh, with, with the boobus. Oh. I have no idea, dude. She probably died. Those... Pretty sure she died in the first movie. This looks like little scuttles. It's those uh, chariot bugs, the ones that carry the big brain. The big poker thing? The big Dude, brain, yeah. That's one of the creepiest things. I had nightmares about that creature when I first saw this movie, dude. That thing that sucks the brains out of people, that is definitely... Definitely Wait, crazy Wait, I have a shit. question. What's up? One of, those, one of those brain suckers attacked a man who was in a small office room at one point in the movie, I'm pretty sure, unless I'm misremembering. But I'm pretty I sure there was... Jeremy Irons walks up to a guy in a small room moves his head and there's a giant hole in the back with no brains yeah that's the very first one so that that brain sucker thing is giant <laughs> so how did it get into a small office room building place how? i think it's because well they came in from underneath they showed in the movie I don't they came from behind. <gasps> that was denise richards dude denise richards denise richards is fucking hot dude denise richards is still Fairly striking. Fairly. She was in a bunch of crap, though. She was in Tammy and the T-Rex, where she went to high school and befriended a T-Rex. A T-Rex? Yes, a fucking T-Rex. Oh, I mean, that's awesome. I wish I could do that. The world is not enough in 1999. The bold and the beautiful. She's in a lot. Dude, she's been, yeah, she's been in a fucking a lot. Time crafters? Uh -oh. What the fuck is that? Time crafters? Dude, there is some low money plane. There's plane. It's got money in it. Well, it's, it's a better money than plane. Soul plane. Hey man, you don't talk shit about soul plane. <laughs> I actually enjoyed. She soul was plane. she was in BH nine zero two one zero that has six point nine stars. Nice. Nice. Uh, the only reason I remember that she was in Tammy and the T Rex is because I've been playing High on Life. <laughs> the uh yeah the the fucking what's his name's the rick and morty man yeah. justin roiland just justin Roiland. roiland's new game uh who's just been arrested for domestic violence uh and he paid for the rights or at least squanch games paid for the rights to show just about the entire movie on a tv just sitting there which nice. is fucking great uh they also paid for blood harvest which is a tiny tim movie do you remember? Do you know who Tiny Tim is? Uh, just from tiptoe uh, through the window. No, nope. okay, I did not think it was. He's a little, he's like ukulele guy. He put a lot oh, of like SpongeBob okay. stuff. Like he he surprisingly he's shows guy. up in SpongeBob quite a few times. I was thinking Tiny Tim from like that Christmas movie with Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> that 
<laughs> please, please help me. Don't like, I'm pretty sure screwed. one of them is like know, in Futurama. Cool. There's Tiny Timbot. Like, Good to hear that's all. I was, I was not picking up what you were stepping in. I mean, Tip is that how that one goes? No. <laughs> Smelling what you're stepping in. That's what it was. That guy. Oh, yeah. That guy. <laughs> yeah. He's a creepy looking motherfucker. Tiny Tim is weird looking, like uh, but he was in a movie called Blood Harvest that was like a super low budget slasher film where he's just a crazy person with clown makeup uh, and uh, he may or may not be allegedly murdering people in a, in a barn. So he definitely is. I don't know, man. No. Allegedly. He totally is. Allegedly. He's just, you know, not doing it by himself. He could be. It's nah. a good movie. It's actually pretty fun. If you have Shudder, I think it's still on Shudder. I don't think I have it anymore. I think I got. I only like re-download it when Halloween is coming on. Dude, when, that's when they put the best shit out. Exactly. I haven't gotten Shudder in quite I, a while. I only get it back once Halloween's coming back out. Yeah, that's it's it. seasonal. It's a seasonal s subscription. Uh -oh. Now I got more people. Hell yeah, dude! I've been watching tons of movies. I just watched. Dude, which one did I watch? I watched some super low budget crap. <laughs> I watched a whole series called Dead Body Man. Oh, yeah. Dead Body Man, Dead Body Man Daddy Body uh, Man 2, it's and then Dead Body bodies. Man Chronicles. And it is basically a movie about a psychotic man who looks a lot like the horrible love child between Matthew Lillard and Bam Margera. Uh, and he so you is. You mean old Bam Margera? <laughs> uh, you mean just Phil? Phil? <laughs> <laughs> uh. But he, he just, like, he just screams nonsense and then murders a bunch of people. And then God start talk, starts talking to him through pornography. Yes, sir. All right. And I then can get tells this. him to kill more people. And then he's like, no. But then it turns out he has a, a conjoined twin that he cuts off at the end of the first movie. But don't worry, he comes back. In the second he movie, he just appears again. And then through through the act of jumping into Bam Margera's butthole, uh, like, reinserts himself as a conjoined twin. So and then they go on another answers. murderous rampage. It's a very strange, strange movie series. Very low quality. It's, oh. it's a Sub Rosa film, oh. if anybody knows about Sub Rosa. They're, oh boy, they're they're terrible. Check out their YouTube channel, though. Sub Rosa's, I need to show you some fucking hilarious uh, movie trailers. Uh, Sub Rosa Cinema has a bunch of these super, super low budget crap movie trailers. Some of them are hilarious, okay. like, like uh, Shark Priest or Zombie Shark, Shark Priest. Priest or something like that. Uh, there was like a toilet movie, like there was a toilet murdering people. <laughs> there was a, a really low budget superhero movie called The Black Scarab, where it's just basically a guy with a black, like solid rubber suit is running around exactly like fucking... Uh, Exactly like Batman. It's so Engineers fucking weird. Nice. That sounds awful. Like, that does sound awful. Some of those sound awful. The, the trailers are hilarious, but I feel like I would die if I watched the movie. Look how many dudes you got, man. So many You're dudes. You're a regular battalion. You gonna fucking storm the capital with those people? Uh, probably. Like, look what I got. I just gotta not lose radio station. What is the things on the side? What's uh, Chariot Bug Warrior Combat Engineers Report? Is that tutorial shit? Yeah, so that like that tells you like this is what a chariot bug is. It's is... got hit points. It's got a face. Just shoot it and it'll die. Yep. And then Warrior Bugs, same oh shit. Oh my god. Combat Engineers, this is the flamethrower guys. Hell yeah. And dude. how this is how to call for reinforcements, which I totally forgot earlier. <laughs> so is that what the No, you had some people dropped off. Was that not what it was? Oh, you know, yeah, but I just totally couldn't more? remember it for a while. Uh, Should have gotten more. Eh. Got no, like you 10, can only 000. call X amount at a time. So it's one of those kind of RTSs where yeah. it's like you have a limited scope of, you know, types of things you can bring. So you can see troops ah, okay. you currently have. This is like supplies and then war points get you like cooler shit. War pigs have the power, dude. Nah, never. Yes. This area is hotter than we thought. So yeah, it's hot, a dude. It's so fucking hot. Order, Comb the desert. Do you hear me? <laughs> Comb the desert. We ain't found shit. <laughs> the best. How long has it been since you've watched Gremlins? Um. I have a controversial theory. I have a controversial opinion of Gremlins. Oh, please tell me that it's worse than you remember. It sucks. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Any, okay, I know Gremlins is gonna... super. It's super beloved. It is, but it because is because of also... the puppets. 
because of the puppets. It's Let's also be honest. Hot garbage now. <laughs> that movie blows. That movie's story it is not blows. Good <laughs> the characters in it are fucking terrible. They are terrible. Phoebe <laughs> Cates. Phoebe Cates is trying her damnedest to do good in this movie. <laughs> She's the like the girl that the main kid likes. Yeah. And the main kid is he a high schooler or is he college age? High like, schooler. He's and a high school? It's crazy because like his dad gets him another pet. After he, he already, already has, has a, a pet. pet. Yeah. The kid has a dog and his dad, being a dick, just brings over a fucking Furby that he has never seen before. Yeah. Never well, never done any research. Seen that he just before. walked into fucking Chinatown and said, I want that. This looks cool. Give me that. After absolutely failing at showing off one of the worst inventions I've ever seen, <laughs> this fucking brick, this giant that brick, brick that has a razor sleep. blade, uh, a toothbrush, so you want to shake this thing in front of your face with an open blade. It's got a knife, nail clippers. It, it spits it's fucking toothpaste Swiss at Army you. Knife, but it's, like... it's, it's the all-in-one life kit. <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly what it's called. But he sucks, dude. Well, His inventions are bad. Get a regular job. This, the the fact that he just, on a whim, grabs this living creature that he knows nothing about speaks volumes to how little he gives a shit about anything. <laughs> I have no idea. I think it was just bad writing. Like, I could oh, be yeah. wrong. <laughs> but then uh, cut to cut to the, the son, his, his son, who has the dog, who right. is already perfect, right. gives him another thing. Right. This kid has no emotion. Well, to yeah. anything. Hey, look, more troopers. Corey Haim is in this movie, too, as a fucking child. Door. Going for the base. Corey Haim spills water Dude. on Gizmo. They just fucking closed the door on me. I'm sorry that you... you well, they're green, you're blue, they're different. Well, they're Dex friends. is trying to stop you. You have to kill them now. Kill all of my friends. No. Anyway, back to this awesome movie called back Gremlins. To, back to Gremlins. 17. So the kid, let's uh, fast forward to Corey oh Haim. Corey Haim has, like, some water by him, and he spills it on Gizmo. Gizmo bubbles up and then spews out fucking five gremlins. Five more gremlins. Well, yeah, because it's the movie. They said not to do that. Ever. The main guy doesn't give a shit. I know he doesn't. He doesn't even react to it. He well, doesn't. Because he's like, not freaked out by that. Are you? Would you? Okay. If, probably nobody. If, if probably you went his home, dad did not tell him. If you went home to your mom's house, and then Blue just magically had a litter of eight puppies, and your mom was like, "Look at that," I would honestly be amazed. But I mean, it'd be it'd be it's not it'd good. be an event. <laughs> You'd have to talk about it. <laughs> hey, remember when we only had one extra mouth to feed? Guess what? We yeah, I wouldn't be six. happy. If, I wouldn't be thrilled. Like, and that's also, damn sure. <laughs> if I pour water on them again, we'll have 50. How do you think? How do you feel about that? He brings it. Dude, I don't kid, know what to tell you, man. <laughs> this kid has no morals. The main kid has no morals because he brings one of them to his science teacher and in front of his science teacher, for fun, pours water on one. Well, That's cruel, it's dude! It's because he's a scientist. That's so cruel. No, the kid does. Oh, well, then I have no freaking idea. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with that kid? That movie's just bad. It's just bad. It's Sorry. It's good. It didn't, it's it, a, it, it's it didn't a, hold up well. There's a lot of movies that did not hold up well. Okay, I'll fine. I'll give you that. It didn't hold up well. <laughs> It was fun originally. I remember many of the scenes wholly differently. Oh, yeah. I watched it very young well before I liked scary movies, it's and it it's actually it's spooked me. Because uh, they are creepy puppets. Yeah. They're really good puppets. I was never, like, freaked out by it. I wasn't a huge fan of it when it first came out, but I was like, yeah, this is fine. Hey, look, we won. Hey! Hardest difficulty! We killed We lost level. a guy! No, we didn't. We didn't lose a single person. Sick. Where's my achievement? None? None. Bullshit. We probably won't get it until we beat all the way to the end. It's FedNet. Yeah. Would you like to know more? I would! <laughs> I'm doing my part! <laughs> Are you? Yes! <laughs> Is this uh, the first Starship Troopers game? No. Well, yeah. No. No. Yeah? No? No, no, yeah, no. yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. No. no, yeah. There's to way, war! There's shittier versions of a game out like oh, this. Really? There's like, uh, fuck, I cannot remember. It was, it was so bad next though. mission you're ready for next mission to, to war, war! 
No, but there's Loading. other games, but like that's more of a uh, first-person shooter. Oh, really? Yeah. That sounds more fun. It, eh. I mean, sounds, I'm a fan of strategy that sounds like games, it could so be this is fun for fun. me. But, yeah, that could be better, but the graphics and the games themselves Oh, I thought he are... said buttholes. He says bug holes. Okay. Well, I mean, does... there's numerous buttholes around here. There's so many buttholes. Like, the, every single bug, butthole. Like, if you think about it, we're technically just invading them. They've never invaded us. Uh, would you like to hear about some goofs? On IMDb for Starship Troopers. Let's see some goofers. Uh, continuity error. In the shower scene, Johnny's butt is already red before it's smacked. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first piece of goof. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a good one. A bug's leg pierces Carmen's shoulder when she's captured. After rescue by Johnny, the blood remains... Oh, but her yeah. uniform has no hole. Yes. Yeah. She also seems noticeably unaffected by the injury, able to use her shoulder easily. <laughs> oh, dude, she, like, picks up a gun and is just right away trying to mow down bugs. And I was like, yeah. are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. I like how all of these say, warning, spoilers. We don't, spoilers. Just, if you haven't seen this movie, you're dumb. Well, this came, this movie came out in fucking, dumb. what, 1994? This is not a lot of people's 92? favorite movies, 97, though, so, 97, like, it makes 97. sense. What's, been, what's Casper Van Dien been doing? Uh, what you been doing, Casper Van Dien? Suck a dick. Ooh, he just made a movie. He was in Alita Battle Angel, apparently. Sleepy Hollow. He was in Tarzan and the Lost City, dude. Yeah, that's how we get troops. Man, it's been a minute since I played this game. County, no... County line, no fear. The Battle of Saipan. Sa what? What is that? Dude, there are so many movies that's, that have come out. Holy shit, it's a movie that's under two hours? <gasps> That's about war? Save it. I have not seen many recent movies. I really need to get... At some point, I'm going to get Shudder again. I got to get Shudder again. I mean, I I watched some recent ones, even though like they're very slow coming, because there's not a lot that I truly like. That's why I love my endless walls of old movies, dude. It's great. I do like When you old never movies. have something to not watch. Like, I just... I went to my parents' house because they they moved, uh, and I was able to look through a bunch of their DVDs, and I now have the whole Indiana Jones series. Oh, nice! Minus the bad one. Well, <laughs> so it's awesome. Okay, I have the only real Indiana Jones movie. <laughs> oh, speaking of, did you know there's gonna be another one? Another Indiana Jones starring Harrison Fjord. Well, yeah, he liked playing uh, Indy way more than he did um, Hans. Han Solo. Hans hand solo he hated playing uh han solo he was doing both of them like right around the same ish time yeah like back to back almost it was nuts but he's too old dude he's so no, he's old. not harrison ford's not old no he's not old he's only like 39 he's a legend How legends old? never get he's in his old. 70s dude he's gotta be yeah he's, probably he's fracking old dude like i don't know how old is well, I was gonna say Carrie Fisher, but she's dead. Um, how old was Carrie Fisher? Yeah, how old was she? Like, so, I would base it off she that was for me to guess how old he is. Seven or sixty-three? Uh, it was. It was a bad age to to die that gross looking. So they say. How do you spell Harrison? Oh, I didn't kill him. I did. I did it. Harrison Fjord this was sucks. born in nineteen forty-two. Wow, he's old. He's really old. He's eighty. He's 81. 81? Oh my god, say. and he's gonna play Indiana fucking Jones at 81? Well, so what? Like, or no, wait a minute. My Hold favorite on. Indiana... My favorite Indiana Jones moment is when the guy comes out is with, like, the sword actually? and does that whole bit where he's like, look at me, I can flail around my sword, and then he just pulls out a gun and fucking shoots him. That is my favorite moment. Oh my god, Because I was like, at that moment, I was like, I have faith that I can mm. at least at one point be Indiana Jones in the future. Like... If all things go wrong, I'll always have that moment. <laughs> That's fair. On IMDb, they have a thing called The Legacy of Harrison Ford, and that super sounds like he died. When it does. He's, he's totally he's the fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Legacy of Harrison Ford. Rip in peace. Rip. Big rips. 50 plus years. What was Harrison Ford's first movie? Um, I think it was just like Jackie Jans where he was in a porno. Uh, or, or Sylvester Stallone. That was a, he was in Dead Heat on a Merry-Go-Round. Dead Heat. He was uncredited as a bellhop pager. 
bellhop. He was Petrie. that was 1966. Ugh. Then Love in 1967. Oh, he was in a he was in two episodes of a TV show called The Virginian. <laughs> from 1962 to 71. He played Young Ranch. Young Ranch. The Mod Squad. The FBI. Was that Love. Like Broke... American Style. Was that like Brokeback Mountain before it was Brokeback Mountain? There's a movie on here called Getting Straight. Yeah. Oh. That sounds weird. That sounds about right for the America's era. Children lay it on the line. <laughs> Elliot Gould and Cam lay Candace America's Bergen. On the line. Getting Straight. Dan August. Is that fucking scared straight, man? Burt Reynolds? Maybe. Yes, sir. I can't see your phones, but I'm going to I know, I'm yes. staring at a, I'm staring at things. It is! Okay. Dan August is a TV series uh, where Burt Reynolds is a detective. Yeah. I just saw that perfect face and the cocked eyebrow. <laughs> That's how you always know it's Burt. Good old Burt. So, Rip that he's still alive. It took Harrison Ford 10 years. That didn't make sense. 11 years. 11 years? In 11 years, Harrison Ford went from uncredited actor to Han Solo. Promoted, nice. That's, pretty, pretty, that's a pretty solid... Pretty good. Um, like, series of events. Oh, yeah. American Graffiti? I've heard of that. What's American Graffiti? I think it's just not good graffiti. A group of teenagers in California's Central Valley spend one final night after 1962 high school graduation cruising the strip with their buddies before they pursue their varying goals. That sounds boring as shit. <laughs> it's got Richard Dreyfus and Ron Howard. Ron Howard? And some lady named Mackenzie Phillips and Wolfman Jack. Bo Hopkins. Harrison Fjord. Why well, I, I what? Oh, it's a George Lucas okay. movie too. What? What the fuck is American Graffiti? What are the goofs? Tell me the goofs. The movie's set in 1962, but a cinema marquee advertises Dementia 13 from 1963. <laughs> this was done on purpose because George, uh, by George Lucas, because Dementia Dementia 13 producer Francis Ford Coppola's first movie. Okay, so he flubbed the timeline purely because he liked Francis Ford Coppola's movie. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what a goof. <laughs> you goof. And then they slapped his ass and his ass was already red. Just like Johnny. <laughs> Television sets in the store window are early 1970s models. Up? All right. What do you got to do, man? I got to get rid of one of these guys because I thought I didn't need it. I thought I needed something else. Oh, oh there we go. Him. Disband. Bye. Get the fuck out. Yeah. You're no longer getting paid. Nah, I need more fire guys. I was about to say I was looking at all needs. your sections. <laughs> Looks like you got too many guns. Yeah, but I like guns. You need more flame. Otherwise, how are you going to barbecue? I don't, with guns? Like, Sick. if you shoot the barrel enough times, they'll definitely do it. Is there any sort of holdout slash base building stuff in this game? Yeah, doing it right now. Okay. So, it's like, just you not, it's, move it's not from as... bases. You can see kind of in this corner right here. Yeah. That's a base that we have. Okay. That's a base, technically, that we have. This, I can't remember. That was a bug's nest that we cleared out. So, like, I'm trying to think in terms of, like, down, Star... Uh, 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 whatever it was, StarCraft. Uh, yeah. So, like, you get some of it. So, like, these guys will stay. Like, the HMG turrets. So, you'll have to be doing shit like that. Protecting mm. bases while moving others to go take out them so like that's what i'm kind of doing right now keeping these guys right keeping right. the shit as we say as the kids say on lockdown they come again. And keeping it Get those keeping it real keeping it real keeping it tight like a tiger yeah i don't want to be like a tiger is there any um okay let's say you want to have a little bit of hold out what is it is it worth the trouble yeah to just like haul it towards an enemy so base like, just to take over. The, or is that what you're currently doing? That's what I'm hiking? doing. That's so the like, red spots? I'm holding out right here while I'm also pushing right on this side. Okay. So I was just going to wait for you to finish with what you were saying. Ah, dude, keep going. Kill everything. I'm trying. Murder them bugs. Shoot! Oh, no! Yeah, they'll be fine. I see the error of my ways. They'll be fine. That's <laughs> oh, why yeah. I've got the fire guys. Yeah. I was expecting yeah, a that's few why more that to come be through fine. there. But hopefully, oh, there are. There's a nest right there. There's uh, all those burn guys. It. Shit, can it? Throw it away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's <Millie>. go. 
Yeehaw. These people don't seem hardened enough. No. I F mean, they're three F stars. That, that means they're max level, so they get an ability. So I could choose them to throw out a Boom ton bundle. of grenades, or nice. my favorite, shotgun, shotgun suppression. suppression. <laughs> yeah, dude, close range and dangerous. It's uh, really freaking good, actually. Can you freely just attach whichever one you want for the time? Yeah. Oh, well, like you, yeah. So when they hit level three, you can only choose the one. Okay, so you're specializing in one or the other. Yeah, so you can't later go back on and forth. you get more, like, and there's more options for everything. But here, uh, you push that, and then they just start shooting shotguns. It doesn't look like they're shooting the right way, though. <laughs> it looks really <laughs> funny. Like, the animation-wise, it doesn't look right. Okay. <laughs> but it's pretty funny. <laughs> Is that, like, a cooldown thing? Yeah, so it's cooling down now, as you can see. Oh, uh, okay. But you got double squads, dude. You can go double if you want. I can do so much. You can go all out. Fuck shit, can I'm gonna throw a grenade just because I can. Yeet. Boom. Kills things. It, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My favorite thing about grenades. It, it, it murdered. It murders. I would have saved that grenade to throw it directly into uh, the... Dude, unlimited grenades. <laughs> You're not wrong. I've been... Uh, I just started playing a game called Evil West. Evil West. And it's a vampire... Cowboy game. Okay. Uh, very beat em up. But all the guns, instead of having bullets, it is just like this. Infinite ammo, just cool down. So okay. It's like, oh, that's nice. I don't have to worry about fucking looking around for ammo and not having enough for no reason. Right. And then resorting to melee. It's like, no, nah, use everything at your disposal. It's more fun. I like it. It is more fun. That's like why, like in most games, like for example, Skyrim's, like I always start Screams. off. Screams? Yeah. I always start off with doing just like a little bit of everything just because it's like. Yeah. I have it. Fuck it. I'm gonna get a million arrows, even though I'll We're never gonna get use the brain bow. sucked out, dude. No, I never burned heard. it. Yes, sir. Good job. And now we gotta How's make it. How's it feel? It. How's it feel to burn innocent bugs? Good, because if we spoke bugs. their language, how do you know we, they wouldn't be mad? I, I honestly, I wouldn't care because they're bugs. <laughs> <laughs> they're huge and gross. And I, I hate don't them. like bugs. <laughs> Arachnophobia. Like, yeah, you know, I fucking despise <laughs> spiders. <laughs> Spitter bugs. Oh man, they're a pain in the ass. Watch they out for that up. bug hole. They it's show up spitters. later in some of the movies, uh -huh. and they just shoot acid. Ew. Yeah, they suck. I'm not a fan. Sounds almost like Tremors when they started making ones that flow. Oh, Remember yeah, that? and the Tremors that Remember fly. Or the fucking pterodactyls <laughs> that fucking fly around. <laughs> I love the ass blasters. <laughs> that was their official name. Now, that series, <laughs> that series was is, good. is like Starship Troopers, but in a whole more redneck way. Oh, yeah, but it's also great. I love Tremors. Tremors all of Tremors. Honestly, all of Tremors. They're the first two. The first one's awesome. The first Tremors movie is is a, a fucking great movie. Very much uh, so. And then starting from the second onward, it starts getting progressively worse and worse quality wise, <laughs> uh, and writing wise. But the the Tremors. I don't know. There's something about it. I, I can enjoy it regardless. Kind of like the room. <laughs> kind of like the room. Yeah, yeah I can just right. I can enjoy it regardless. I know it's bad. <laughs> it's fucking awful, but I'll still watch it because it's the subject matter is funny, and the fact that that one guy Bert is in every it, oh yeah, single one. Oh yeah, he's in every one. single one. He's not known for literally anything else besides that. Yeah, is he still alive or did he pass away? I'm I think he sure passed he's still away. Alive. I don't remember. I thought there was something that I read that was like. He exploded. No, I think he's still alive. He flipping, he flipping I mean, blew up. I mean, there's no way that he could go out without people being like, it's not a true death because he should have been eaten by a tremor. <laughs> a graboid. Yeah, a graboid. Some, some fan you are. <laughs> don't even know the name. Whatever. I'm a huge Eat. fan. Eat. Eat my butt. <laughs> Eat. Eat my... Eat my shorts. Okay. Take What's his name? What's it? Michael Gross. A.K.A. Ew. Bert Gummer. <laughs> Born in 1947. That's a bad name. From Chicago, Illinois. Oh, Woo! Crap. Move! Represent. Oh, they're gonna die. He was in Family Ties. They're so dead. Dude, you're doing great. They can't get on your road, dude. They can't even walk left. And maybe jump up that small I was trying to move one of the machine Mesa. guns right here, but I, could, I, I put it too damn close. Sad. You can't move shit like on these bridges. They're awful. <laughs> He's 75. He is alive. Yeah, see, I knew he was alive. He has to. He can only die from graboids. Chicago! Woo! The area isn't cleared yet. 
There's so many people from Chicago, man. It's ridiculous. Well, yeah, it's a big city. I know. Okay, call even, it even, city, even unknown even people are from that. Chicago. <laughs> like, just regular citizens are from Chicago. Yeah, like you and me. Oh my god. I'm regular? We're I'm regular normal? citizens. I'm a regular skittison? Well, I mean, we, we make content now, so we're obviously better than the rest. Uh. <laughs> yes. You hear that? I'm better than you! Better. Because I have a microphone! Exactly. For no reason we're other important. than that. I don't believe that. Look at these gross fucking spitters! They're ruining you! They are. But it's kind of sad that you have a couple uh, machine gunners that are like way too far back. Uh, it's hard, like, with the tracking for where people can go. Yeah. I hate it. Well, I mean, it's a weird grid-based system. It is. They can't be on top of each other. I don't know. It helps just, with clipping. Looks it, nice. I mean, it looks nice. It's very pretty. But this game does look very nice. It's just some of the things just yeah it ain't the best. Well, it's not a blizzard, RTS. <laughs> True. <laughs> it's not a massive team, I'm sure. They did a pretty good job, though. That's pretty cool. Shoot him! Is this the last? Nope, there's one more to the north. Looks like the north is a number two. Does that mean it's too difficult for you? <laughs> no. Uh... Nah, there's no such thing as too difficult. What about the ROUSs? <laughs> for me, I don't it's believe not. they exist. <laughs> I'm too fucking good at this game. Even though this is the hardest difficulty. This does not look difficult. <laughs> Your making this look really easy. <laughs> I, I know. That's why like, I was like, I'll like go through game, this on this max difficulty for sure. This game seems like for sure. max difficulty is no problem. <laughs> right, let's actually break you down since we're going up anyways. Yeah. Are there a, there's also, those other two dudes back there? Are they I've just holding I've also gone out? through this game multiple times. Fair enough. So I have already gone. To, like, I think last time we talked about this game, I had already beaten it. Mm -hmm. And I was working on just going through the whole game on the hardest difficulty for shits and giggles. And it doesn't seem like it's, it's much of a really, trouble right now. No, not really. Maybe they should have increased difficulty. <laughs> but, like, a lot of the game that plays against you is the fog of war. So you cannot see. So, like, if you move too fast, like I kind of did earlier, yeah, you'll you fuck will yourself. die. Yeah. And it's, as you can see, fucking harsh. <laughs> yeah, your dudes are, are getting hurt, but I mean, you still have quite a few people and you're but still holding out. luckily, I got to one of the radio station, so that's like a holdout so you can... Dude, get sniper teams. Replenish. Replenish. Does that drop more dudes? Yeah, it allows me to get So it just snipers. fills out your group again? Yep. Oh, that's but, nice. And like, this area, all they do is they tell you just to like, get Shit, certain dudes. units. It's still like a tutorial. Yeah. Well, it's still early game. Technically. Technically, yeah. It's just like, uh, I want to just let me make my own things like they do in later games. But it's like, I they just have to teach do you right slowly, now. my dude. I, I know, but I do. I do. Uh, I find that annoying as well. Like if any game of this style really needs to take it slow. Yeah. Because of the sheer amount of stuff. Everything that stops me from playing RTSs is, is the sheer quantity of user interface stuff. Mm. There's a ton. Some of them are way easier than others. There's a game called Democracy is Not an Option. That's like a, you know, it's it's an RTS, but it's, a, it's always a holdout. You're at one base, you okay, build up your base, yeah. and then you protect yourself against waves that are slowly bigger. I do like, I do enjoy those. Yeah, those, all you have to worry about is what building does what, and then make a good wall. Gotcha. And that's about, as much as you really need to do. I mean, I guess And it's all times. So, you have, it's like every mission is, here's, it's 30 minutes. Last. That's it. Yeah, okay. Fucking live. So you have to send people out to, like, pick things up and clear out extra little enemy spawns, and then at every, at, at certain set intervals, wave. Wave. Go nuts. Look at you going ham on that rock. Yep. What did that rock do to you? It's a bug lair. That bug lair was screaming racial slurs at me from a I distance. Bet it, was. it was mean. I wouldn't doubt it. They kept going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I assume it's bad. I'm pretty sure they called your mother or something. Yeah. It's those human slurs that all these bug people use. What, what they, call they call us call meat it, sacks. They call us shiznos. Shiznos? <laughs> That's what the. What is it from Red versus Blue? They're like. Get out of here, you damn dirty shizno! 
Made up words spoken angrily can be really great. I think it can be funny, but also incredibly racist. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like Dinglehopper. Like I don't Shizno. know the history, but it could be bad. Like Shizno. Shizno is incredibly racist. <laughs> Let's see, get you guys like that. And then, like, angles also play weird. So, like, if not everybody was like that, the snipers wouldn't be firing. That's true. It's fair. That's fine. I mean, I like it, but I think it's dumb at the same time. Dude, these aliens have not... I like how there's aliens over there that are just like, look at our friends die. Yeah, That's but they're pretty bugs. Cool. They don't know any better. You saying they're dumb? How yeah. do we know? They I have know. great tactics. Look at them. No, they don't. Randomly spinning. I can't build shit here. Is it because of the, uh, the terrain? Yeah. Awful. Oh, God. The pathing was getting weird, I saw. Yeah. In areas like this, I'm not a fan of it, but whatever. Yeah. Could you could you have followed the road, or is the road a dead end area? Oh, it could have. Uh, oh yeah, you really could have. But this way's funner. <laughs> it's not a real word. It's real work. It's not a real word. Stupid. I think this is fun because for one, like ah, both work. I've done it multiple ways. I've come in from the back. I've come from this way. So like, Ew. it says bug hive two. That's what the two over there says. So it means it has two of these, right? And this mm. one slowly comes back, and so does this. And you have to deplete them before you can get rid of it. Okay, so the little so the it's bar... easier to take out the side than going for like the main one right away. Okay, because then you're probably taking on both at once. Yeah. Okay. So it's easier just to take hey, man. it out like that. This is what this is what forty six thousand hours in Starship Troopers um, cool terrain does to you. Cool right terrain. Yeah. I don't know what the game's called. <laughs> I can't yeah, remember what the I, game's I called. I think it's called uh, Terra S Command. Terra, yeah, Terra Command. Super Terrain. <laughs> Super Terrain Command. Yeah. Did you tell? Yes. It's amazing. I can tell you're a huge fan. <laughs> I'm a massive fan of this specific game. I have all the copies. I purchased every copy of the game. Sensor. <laughs> game Boy Color. <laughs> Coleco Vision. Coleco. Wow, that one had like... It's a sensor, so it draws them. No, the one on the left had like... Not nearly as many bugs as this one. Well, this one it comes on back. the right side. Well, they both come back. Gosh, oh, no, I'm I just see saying, the red bar. See, yeah, yeah, they all come back. Just that one was closer. True. Now you gotta go burn it, dude. You gotta shut it down. Yep. Shut that shit down. And we're going. And you gotta walk in there and then turn the switch off. Let me capture this, and then I think there's a big wave that comes. I could be wrong. A big wave. Big wave. They move their hands back. Yeah, and back. giant wave hands. Freakish hands. <laughs> All right. We get those guys up here. Uh, yeah. Do you Demolish. have enough time to build two more? Yeah, I got plenty of time. So much time. Time for days. They picked up major, major bug movement. Major mug movement. No. Our only chance is to use this valley as a kill zone. Yay! Hell yeah, dude. The zone to kill. Tower defense. <laughs> Tower defense! Yeah. So Use your rocket launchers. Rocket launchers. Oh, you have a minute 20. <laughs> that prepare. is not a lot of time. I had to prepare, though, so we're fine. Let's see. Oh, I it's want... even telling you. Fucking use choke points, bro. I know. Do you I even know what a choke's point is? I do know what a choke's point so you is. You walk up to him and you grab him by the neck and you shake him. All right, so I want you go guys do that. right here. Is there you any way to get snipers to yeah, higher ground? I'm gonna put them up there. I yeah. just, I'm just doing other shit because I, I have the high ground now, and you can. Bananakin. Bananakins. Yes, Banana Ramadan. There, get you over there. Get you, you one. healed. Get you healed. Build get them HMGs. Those huge machine guns. <laughs> huge machine guns. Is that what it stands for? Is that real? I think so. Oh wait, I don't want them over there. I want them right here. It can't stand for heavy. No, well, no way. It's huge. Because they're right there and they could be shooting at them. Oh, hell yeah. And I don't uh, trust anything up on that hill. Oh, just in case they get snatched from the back? Yep. They get taken from behind? I don't like forcefully. it because they have to move that far. Like, that is very here, far. Whereas here, they're, they're fine. Like, they have to go through here to get to them. That is fair. That is a much smarter spot. Yeah, I agree. The bugs are here. Okay, They're going guys. nuts! Uh, this is knocking butts! We're knocking butts and sucking fucks! Does the AI just automatically shoot what's closest? Yeah. Got it. Hey. Oh, they got carpet bombs! Macarenas. Can I make more? 
Yes, I can. Oh, yeah, man. Mm, why not? Shoot through your own people. Oh, it won't be working yet. That okay. one definitely clipped, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're holding out easy. No problems. Oh, and the snipers can reach? Fuck yeah. They're not dumb. No. I mean, most snipers I know aren't dumb. They're just, you know, special. Forces. They're just really special people. <laughs> They're special forces. They can think about things that nobody yeah. else can. And they can also stand still for a really long time I've and almost, not sleep. I've almost pissed on one before. It was fun. Because <laughs> he was hiding in the bushes, so... Wow, naturally. that was... And Victory! Away! That was very... Uh, <laughs> Anticlimactic. Because <laughs> I, I just I looked away from the screen, I looked back, and it was just corpses and people standing there. Yep. <laughs> Kick their ass. <laughs> nice. I'm Wait. good with that. This is a cool this is a yeah. cool little game. This is just fun. Just yeah. like this was just to show you guys a little bit of that. But I personally enjoy it. It's it sounds like a like a propaganda thing because like oh, when, yeah, when you're going moved. through the these cutscenes and whatnot. After all, for the war I'm doing my part. Yes. Are you? I'm doing my part. And I'm doing my part too. Look at, yeah. Look at that guy's face. Yeah. Look at that guy's face. They're all Johnny Rico. That guy's made of wood. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> it's not a real person. He's made out of clay. <laughs> He's got a tumor on the other side of his arm. Ugh. Yay! All right, Yay. that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you Thanks enjoyed it, leave a in. like. Uh, and check this game out. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, check the game out. We'll see you next time. Bub. Bye.